you don't know, OpenAI released their new AI model last week. And in this video, I wanted to go through and test some of the prompts that I've been seeing on Twitter that are good for day-to-day -day use cases. I'm going to test the prompts on the new model. And then I'm also going to compare it to the results in Claude. And here are some of the prompts that I'm going to be testing. So I'm going to go through some coding prompts. Then I'm going to do some prompts that are related to like learning. And then also I found some prompts of how to use it to come up with marketing strategies. So I'm going to test that. And then also some prompts related to like healthcare and detecting fraud. So I think this could be useful for coming up with microsoft ideas or just like really niche use cases. So <clears throat> let's get started. Basically the first prompt is using OpenAI to generate a video annotations tool. So I'm gonna paste the same prompt here and then I'm gonna have the new model selected, which is um, O1 preview. And then one useful tip that I've found is that if you find a prompt and it works really well, what you can do is you can give it to Claude to rewrite the same prompt, but for a different niche. So I will show you guys an example, but basically this prompt is to generate a video annotations platform. You have the prompt and you give it all of the system requirements. Then you tell it to also add these features as well. So you're basically just telling it all of the system requirements. So it goes through and it writes a system. It doesn't write any code, but it does tell you like all the requirements. So I think this could be like a few shot prompt where the first prompt, you just tell it to write all of the requirements. Then after that, what you can do is you can tell it to write the code. So right now it has all of the stuff that you would need for this new project idea. But let's say sounds good write the code for it for Django and Vue. So obviously if you're working with like Next.js or some other library or framework, just change it based on like whatever you use. Let's also give this to Claude. So I'm using Claude Sonnet, but let's see if it's able to write the code. So you can see that after I told it to write it in Django and Vue, it thought through the steps for seven seconds. Then it is going through and writing all of the code right now. It's creating all of the boilerplate code so this looks pretty good. It's even writing the models, the serializers, the API endpoints. This is definitely not bad. So one of the features is a search functionality and it was able to the search functionality using Elasticsearch. So it's aware that it should use other libraries as well. So it's not going to install this thing. Based off the results, this does seem better than the previous OpenAI model, especially when it comes to coming up with much more detailed responses. So you can see that when I gave it to Claude, this was like the response it gave me, even with the same prompt, just comparing it. The, the new model is a lot more detailed. So just like scrolling through the quantity of how much words it gave us, new OpenAI model is a lot more, plus it's a lot more detailed. So like the step three is like annotation storage and indexing. And over here, it's like, like vague and it, it doesn't have that much like context. So yeah, I would say for coding and coming up with the system um, requirements and kind of like breaking down how you would code it, the new model on OpenAI is a lot better. So let's go through another example. So this one is like a personal assistant. This is probably useful if you have a lot of traveling tasks. So maybe you're traveling and let's just say I am, I am traveling to Italy. I need a full itinerary and optimize it for fun. Use 30K tokens. My budget is under. All right, let's test it for like a travel assistant. Let's create a new project here and also paste it into Claude. Also, I think if the responses are good enough, you could probably make these into a um, separate app as well. So just the system is you first test it in the web app to see if the responses are good. And then if it's good, then you can convert it into the web app so that people don't have to like do all this prompting but let's take a look at all the responses. So it's thought for 17 seconds and you can see it's reasoning here. And then let's see, I guess it has like the days break from day to day. And this doesn't seem that great. Open AI did say that the prompt is optimized for like coding and science for like personal travel assistant. It doesn't seem that much better. I'm not sure if it's a problem with like my prompting or the fact that it's, it's not really like the model is optimized for like research, coding, science, math. So maybe it's not that great for like just general travel assistance type um, thing. But yeah, this the, isn't that impressive to be honest, but let's move on to the next one. So this one here, 
I've already tried this before, but basically it's using the new prompt to help you learn something. In this example, they put in the prompt of learning low level programming. So instead of, of like low level programming, you can do it for any topic. So let's say I'm trying to learn like marketing, change this prompt to be marketing instead, but keep the same prompt structure. Basically this prompt is like telling the AI to break down how you would go about learning a specific topic and it's very detailed and then it's telling it to put it into a book format. <clears throat> you have this and let me just paste it here. So basically the target audience is ambitious marketers that want to become world-class digital marketing experts. Here are, are like the different topics that they should learn. And then it's telling it to put it into a blog post and blog post format so that it's easy to read and someone could just read it and learn what they need to learn. So you can see that it has all of this. It's not that bad. I think instead of, of the blog post format, let's just remove that and try to get it to just generate like a structure of what someone should learn if, if they wanted to master this topic. Yeah, it's breaking down all of, of the different steps that you should learn. I think this is okay. Let me try it again with Claude. So definitely the, the new model is a lot more detailed. You can see that that's like step two. And then there's like awareness, consideration, decision. And then in Claude, it has like the table of contents. And then it's, it's not as detailed in my opinion. Cause like here it's like very specific on what you should learn. And here in Claude, it's, it's generic in my opinion. So that's the problem for learning. So here, this guy is saying to use the model as a business consultant type thing. So what we can do is we can just type in this and tell it AI prompt that I can use to help my database business. All right, so this is the prompt that we'll use. Basically, it's to write a high level plan of marketing our business, generate a range of ideas, and then this is kind of the structure, plus um, we're telling it to generate. Let's just put generate 50 ideas. Yeah, let's try this um, and then also paste this into Claude. So go here, paste it. I think most of the time it like takes 30 seconds, but sometimes it takes a little bit more. All right, so actually it did not generate marketing ideas. It, it, it just generated like business ideas. I'm gonna change the prompt, but basically it seems like the first idea for both prompts are the same, like eco package revolution. This one's eco package something else, but yeah. Like from this prompt, it, it seems like the open AI one is a little bit more detailed. Oh, it's hard to tell. Like it's either a little bit better or like roughly the same, I would say. Let's change the prompt though, because <clears throat> we wanted to generate like a marketing plan. All right, so this is a new prompt. Let me just paste it here. And then for the, and then my business is a database of profitable ideas for entrepreneurs. All right, let's also paste this into Claude. I would say the response from OpenAI is a bit better. Like the suggestions that I gave to increase the revenue for, for the business is a bit better. And I think these are actually actionable, whereas the Claude ones are like a bit generic that could apply to like any business. But yeah, like for this prompt, it's it is a bit better where it's acting as a board member. All right, let's do a few more. So this one is for creating content. So the prompt is, we're making a 30 minute video on embracing ugliness by using AI to analyze 30 interviews transcript. So let's change this prompt. Um, okay, so change, change this prompt to be about finding profitable micro SaaS videos. All right, so the prompt is we're creating a, a guide on discovering profitable microsites ideas by using AI to analyze 30 successful microsites founder interviews, extract key insights and arrange them in a practical framework. Give me prompts and workflow to use with a LM for this task. So basically we're asking the AI to the prompts to give to another LM. So let's also paste this into Claude. So here it's, it's telling us to use all the prompts. So this is probably useful 
if you have a AI app, but like you want to improve the prompts. So you can see that this is the first prompt, which is basically to read the interviews and to provide the summary. So this is prompt number one, and then it has prompt number two, which is like to extract the key insights, and then four, five, whatever. So there's more prompts to get all the useful information from the interviews. And I think this is like really useful because this could be like a AI agent of some sort where it's like breaking down the, the different steps and it, it has the actual prompt that you can use. So let's see like what Claude gave. So it gave, honestly, this is like not even what we asked for because we wanted the prompts and it, it didn't give the prompts. But yeah, you can see that for um, OpenAI, it actually gave the prompts. So just to like take, the, take this a step further, I think like you could probably optimize your, if you already have an app and you want to optimize your system prompts, what you could do is just give it your current prompts and then tell it like the result you want and then tell it to break down how you would improve those prompts. Because here I, I give it the end result we want, which is basically to get um, insights and like actionable advice from the interviews. And then I, I tell it to, to give the prompt. You could do something similar where you can say, these are my prompts and I want you to improve these prompts. So that's the idea. Let's go through a few more. So this one, they were able to use like the uh, one preview to write tests, programming tests. So I think this would be super useful if you have like code and you don't already have unit tests and you need unit tests, right? So this is like another good example, like this thread I thought was like really good. So the person mentioned that the O1 preview is more autonomous in generating steps to solve problems, which is something we've seen with the, with this one here, where it's, it's able to like generate all of the different steps to, to solve the problem. Right. Um, and then it says, um, it's more precise and handles complex tasks with higher consistency. Um, and here are some examples. So basically, um, all of the uses that they gave were related to healthcare, but I think this is still useful to learn from because like you can use it for other niches instead of just healthcare. So the first one here, this guy used it for, um, like calculating the claim. So the, um, the cost of, um, of a newborn delivery and, um, it's going through and like seeing if, if it's actually cost effective. Um, so I think this is, um, like for another niche, this probably, this prompt could be like, how do I negotiate my salary or something? Right. Um, and then here, like th this is the breakdown of like how, how much it costs to, to deliver a newborn. And then this one I thought was really interesting, which is like using it to detect fraud. So like this could apply to a lot of other industries as well, like insurance or some other related industry. Don't give the prompt, but you can probably come up with a prompt in open AI. So just paste this in here and me the prompt that could accomplish this. And then this one here, they're doing like clinical reviews. I'm not sure if, if this is legal or not, but it's like pretty interesting to see what they're using it for. So just brainstorming instead of just doing reviews, you could do this in the law. Maybe use the new O1 preview to read through a document. Here's the prompt. Basically, this is quite a detailed prompt, but basically it, it goes through all the steps that you need, like data analysis, I, I didn't find this game. So it's really good at breaking down the different steps to, to solve a problem. So yeah, it, it, it gives the entire prompt. Plus it tells you where to insert it. So you can do this for other niches as well and brainstorming instead of just doing it for healthcare insurance, like just find niches where there are problems and then use this new model to come up with a prompt to solve those problems.